Good morning, brothers. Welcome to A Brown Bag Gentleman. My name is Scott, and today's shave is going to be Maggard's Lime and Bergamot Soap. Great little soap. Simple, basic little ingredients. It is tallow-based, but the ingredients list is short and sweet and just good stuff. So, and price is $17.95 on their website. Highly recommend. This is when I, you know, when I'm buying soaps, I keep coming back to and buying a full tub of. Yeah, this is one of them <laughs> in, in this particular um, sense as well. And the razor today is something different. Uh, I've, it's been a while since I've shown this one. This is a Gem G-Bar. You see the little handle thing at the bottom? It's a short little handle. It's only like a three inch handle, but it's easy to you know, like go against the grain with and what have you too. It's, it's easy to maneuver. Big hit on this thing because it takes a different blade. Let me show you how simple this is. Just a little lever in the back. You flip it up and the blade goes in there. Let me show you the blade. The blade is something different. Okay. Looks like a box cutter blade, doesn't it? But it's not. It, it's got that shape. It's got the little holder on top, just like a box cutter blade would do. Yeah. But no, you need to buy the, the blade, the right blade from a shaving supplier, not the hardware store. I will guarantee you won't, won't work out well for you if you, if you get the wrong blade. <laughs> so yeah, get a shaving blade, not a box cutter blade. Uh, much sharper, what have you too. But yeah, so this blade actually works well in this razor. And you see there's two little, like tiny little tabs in the corners that hold the blade in place. And then a spring tension on this is very good. After all these years, this is probably a 50s era razor. And I bought it like, I didn't really finish this. This is the way it came. And inexpensive off of eBay, I can tell you. Back in the day when I got this thing, I maybe spent $15 with it. It comes and it came such phenomenal shape. This is one of my best buys I think I've ever got off of eBay for razors so, or anywhere for a used razor. So there we go. So that goes down there. So it's just sitting in there, see? And just pop, pop it down. Double check and make sure it's out there. Now it does have blade exposure it's more enough. So it sticks out beyond the top cap. A little more than normal, more than average, we'll say. And but the but the gap, which is top to bottom, so the blade against the base plate, is fairly light, so not bad. It is more towards mid aggression than mild. It's kind of getting there, so it's in between those, but it's up towards the mid aggression in my in my opinion. So just to kind of give you an idea on, on that, as far as something you'd be interested in, but yeah, if you're looking for a vintage razor really like this razor I like coming back to this razor and using it oh another thing i didn't show you what you don't see the hand the handle is not round it's oval front to back it's oval cool it's just this is just a cool razor. i just just think this is such a neat razor i really i really do like it's probably my favorite vintage razor i just think it's got some it's it's got i know i'm gonna age myself by saying gnarly <laughs> yeah this is a gnarly razor <laughs> All right, where the hell have you pause? Wash up, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. I washed the face, and yeah, as you can see, I've already put on my first coating of soap for the first pass here with my Sunless Creations Studio brush it with, a, with an AP Shave Co. Um, Sinbad knot in it. So yes, that's the brush of the day. The lime, the lime bird month scent. One or two strengths wise out of 10, you know, not super strong, but enough so I can enjoy that scent. So yes, it is, it is pleasant. It is very nice that way. Not overly burdensome on the scent. So yeah, you can put, do whatever aftershave you want afterwards. It's not going to be a problem. But let's get going here with pass one. Just so you rinsed out the, the, the razor in the sink in the warm water. Pass one. And this razor does tend to be more of an autopilot type razor. Not real tough once you get the, the angle. The angle's a little different. It is a little different for this head. I think, was it more like 30 degrees instead or whatever it is? I forget, but. But it goes simply. Now, I thought about trimming this piece out right here, getting it back down to like where I had it before I started growing this part out again. I just, with this razor, I think I'd rather have a regular double edge safety razor in my hands to do that. Just the angles just did, because I'm more used to that angle, more used to the agility of those razors. So that's why I'm kind of waiting to do one of those razors instead. If I was using this daily all the time, then yeah, it wouldn't even be an issue because it's not like gangly and bulky to you. That's just through the angles, the way your things come in. You surprisingly how good you can get underneath the nose with this. Not that I can show you now with a mustache, but yeah, it gets in there pretty good. Still need to do, you know, cleanups, you know, the side coming in the side. It doesn't, nothing is as good 
is, you know, is what's the other razor I like to use for under the nose there? The, the leaf razors. Those are just the leaf twigs and twig thorn. Yeah, that's just the, that's the razor that is, is the best for underneath the nose to get it coming top down and just being able to get in there tight with comfort. There's other razors that'll do that too. It's just that with combination of comfort and everything else too, that, those are, those are my go-tos. Pass two is across the grain. It is summer here in the south. Late June. Temperatures will be in the 90s today. I know up, up north, actually north of the Mason-Dixon, they actually had hotter heat wave than we had here in North Carolina. It was actually hotter in the hundreds there than here. I mean, it was, you know, 100 and 203 heat index here, but they had that like without the heat index, all that. So yeah, it was actually warmer up, up north, I think, last week. As I was talking to my kids in Pennsylvania and New Hampshire. I'm seeing on the news and talking to people in the Midwest. Yeah. A lot of the North got baked last week, which is kind of odd for June. Usually that's a you know, late, late July, August thing. Okay, pass one is done. I'm not going to scrub this on if I want. Nice, soft, synthetic knot. Really like the Sinbad knot. This and the cashmere knot, I really like those two knots from AP Shape Co. in Canada. Really like them. All right, past two. Wait a minute. Past two, that's past three. Okay, sorry, getting ahead. getting behind myself here. Sorry. <laughs> Going so quick here. So, yeah, we've done the past two. So, past three, of course, is against the grain. Let me just clear, clear this part out here. I know... Um, Geo, fat boy from um, Shave Nation, he, he, he cleans off his, his sideburns, he calls it clearing the runways. <laughs> I just want to, I just don't want to trim that in too much here and mess up the mustache or the chin whiskers here. So pass three against the green. Smooth running razor, as old as this is, you'd think, oh, it's going to be harsh. No, really, it's not. Very pleased with how smooth this is. Light, you know, white only. I'm already sweating, getting warm in here. The light's right here, it's a little warm. Smooth, comfortable, nice. That, sh that soap is very nice too, the tallow based. Just do a little buffing pass here now, just water, just to waken up the, the, the slickness of the soap, residual slickness. Here we go, there's that side. Now the other side. There, there we go, that is it. I'm going to pause and wash my face off. Be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. Washed off the face with a warm washcloth to get the residual soap off. Rinsed off the, the equipment, what have you, put that back. Time to turn on the cold water in the sink and two splashes of cold water post shave here. So let me do that. Okay. 
Okay, oh, forgot the alum block. There we go, got my alum here, Shave Nation alum. <clears throat> that little steam right there, okay. Highly recommend an alum block to everybody for post shave, especially new shavers. Because it will sting when you get a little micro nicks, whatever you will sting. So I got a little stinging on both sides of our neck here. When I was doing my buffing, the, the extra scraping, what have you, a little bit, but not a lot. So it was it was close, comfortable shave, but not too close. And that's how I can tell. If I got a really good sting out of it, then I know, yeah, I got a little bit too aggressive. And it's, you know, I, you know but luckily I go every other day for shaving. So it allows that time for healing. Today, I know last week I, I washed and waxed my wife's car, and now it's time for my truck, I think, today. I'm going to do that today's job. I think it's, yeah, it's going to be, weather's going to cooperate, so I'm going to do a hand wash there and do a nice wash on the truck and then wax that and get that all prepared for, for the elements, what have you, get that all cleaned up nice. So that's on my agenda for today. A couple things here in the bathroom left to do here. I've got a corner, I still I haven't painted the paint sitting right here next to the toilet. I just haven't done it. It's a two-minute job, you know, twice in a day to just put on a couple of coats just in the very corner by the shower the door needs to have the top planed a little bit sticking a little bit new hardware on the door and the new hinges yeah with put them out remounting it just sticking a little bit i happen to have a door planer my stepdad tom had given me one years ago so yes you know less than five minutes work with that and then of course painting it to cover all that up and then putting the little hook on the door back of the door too to hold the robes what have you it's kind of that's the tail end of what I need to do in this room, but that'll be another day because yeah, my day today will be on um, vehicle maintenance. So yeah, that's my day today. So I'm not sure what you guys have planned here, <laughs> but now to follow it up for it is summertime here, so you got to get some Florida water. See, this one's getting low. My wife and I both like this. She uses it straight like this. I always mix a little something in, and I'm and usually I mix in sandalwood. Today I'm not mixing in sandalwood. I'll show you what I'm gonna mix in. Let me show it to you. I just took the cap off. I've got a little bit of a sample left of black cherry from Sterling. I purchased some scent ones. So I'm going to mix a little cherry in with this today. So a little citrusy cherry is going to be the theme of the day today. So yeah, we've got to look. This is really up high for me. So the yeah, shoulder height and my shoulder, this left shoulder, this is as high as I can go. It doesn't go higher than that. So let me just, let me just put a nice splash, generous splash. And then I'm going to empty this bottle into it. It's just, it's just drops. It just drops, and it's not that many drops. So I'm just trying to get the last bit of out of it. There we go. So creating our own scent. <laughs> okay, I can smell a light little cherry in there. Mostly the citrusy goodness from the Florida water. And it took me a number of years just to pull the trigger and buy some. I just, I don't know why I didn't because it's really phenomenal. Love this stuff. Uh, not that it lasts a huge lot, long time, it doesn't, but it's so refreshing and nice. Uh, it's so summery, it's just uh, the citrusy, oh yeah, it's a citrusy, a citrusy blast. So, highly recommend. <laughs> Put that back in the cabinet, there we go. But I'm all cleaned up now, all nicely shaved and coiffed, got a t-shirt on and you know jeans, you, you, you get ready to go out there and let's say do a little vehicle maintenance before it gets too hot, because I don't know what time it is, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning or something here. I can't tell off my phone right now, but, <laughs> but uh, I'm sure that's it's gonna it's gonna be a warm day. So let me get it done quick and early, get that out of the way before I can so I can enjoy some of the rest of the day here. And I hope you get a chance to uh, enjoy some of your day as well. And that's not all full of chores. <laughs> hope you have be able to spend time with family and friends. And with that, hope you enjoyed. Go with God.